My name is Emily Cummings and I work as a sculptor in the Netherlands. I have been invited to uh, exhibit my work in the Cancun uh, Vision Art Exposition, which I feel is a privilege and I was immediately very intrigued to come here. I have been exhibiting my work at other international exhibits um, in Torino and in, uh, in uh, the Biennale in Florence and I have um, a numerous uh, works outside of the Netherlands also. I have been working for about 30 years as a sculptor and my medium has changed from ceramics more to bronze, although I do really still work in ceramics, which is my original material that I've been taught in. Art for me is an affirmation of life. It is uh, something that I uh, find myself in. It is something that I truly enjoy and it's something that really brings me back to myself. Um, I do like to communicate with people, although uh, it is sometimes in words it's more difficult than it is in sculpture. Um, uh, I think that I it art for me is is creating art for me is is lovely because it's a place where I can be all by myself, where I can where I can feel what I want to tell the world, and where there is no compromises because art does not compromise. It is there. It's the material that tells you what to do. I usually work with my eyes closed initially and have ma I make sketches of what I think I want to make. It always turns out differently, bigger or smaller or different, in a different position. I uh, enjoy, I well, I enjoy, I think I make, I, uh, um, I like the female body I like female emotions. Um, I like. Uh, I find myself strongest in expressing these emotions. This is a ceramic sculpture, and it is a female. It's called Into It. I think it is a. Uh, I think it is a um, a sculpture that is. Um, uh, on the one hand, starting uh, on the one hand, she's looking for protection. At the same time, she is very comfortable with herself. The protection part is shown in the the raising her shoulder, and it's almost like she's embarrassed about herself. And at the same time, she looks ever so comfortable. These are the the three graces. Um, I think most of the, uh, a lot of artists have uh, given uh, uh, given um, these uh, the three graces a form. Uh, this is my way of expressing them. They're they are on the floor. They are actually supposed to be this way, on a nice marble floor. The three of them together, yet each in their own space. Um, they are very touchable. They are strokeable they they are very graceful so they n make the name graces they pay a tribute to the name graces yet they are very strong because they hold their hands in a fist both of the two of the two that are laying long that have this the legs spread out and the third one holds her hand between her legs they do not look at each other because they all have their own experience almost they are um, they are white because this is the color that they have to be because they are uh, they they are uh, have challenging poses at the same time it should be almost like virgin white because it's more mysterious This is a this is a bronze sculpture named Venus uh, that is standing on one leg to uh, to give it a nicer sense of uh, of height. 
um, sometimes you have to be you you have to work this this is the height that fits with the with the raising uh, body part basically the wreath is interesting because it's in at the back of the body it reveals just enough to make it to give it sensuality and in the front it actually covers up most of the female parts which is which is uh, which is more modesty so this is a play on on uh, on how much do you reveal as a woman and it also plays on the antiquity of course This sculpture is called Pride, which is expressed in in everything that the sculpture shows. The long legs, the long legs of the peacock, which is of course the animal of, of Pride when he when he wants to show off, he uh, puts out his feathers. And um, the, the woman walks with her nose almost like in the wind. She follows her nose, she lifts up her chin. She has an, uh, an amaryllis on her head. And this was inspired by um, uh, by a picture I once saw in the newspaper after uh, the Ascot, the Ascot, uh, a party that's going on in England where all the ladies come with beautiful hats. She uh, holds her hands behind her back also, as and she has almost like a tail, like the peacock, and the peacock also uh, has uh, sticks his belly forwards and puts his nose out there that he is so proud to be walking next to this beautiful lady. So the both uh, the two of them are reinforcing each other. I have this sculpture also in a in two meter twenty um in bronze, which is very impressive when you have it in such a large size. The conference for me has been wonderful. I have to say this it was a, a very special experience um, because it was, uh, first of all, of course, lovely to meet all the artists from around the world. And uh, because it actually has a very intimate character, um, you've, you really get to know people and it's lovely. It's been very, very interesting and lovely to meet these people. The other aspect that I that I want to definitely mention is that I have great appreciation for the older people that were here all throughout the conference, and I mean Rina and Arturo, and and then of course, well, of course, their their presence and their their the way how they added to the conferences and really shared their experiences of working with Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera and. And uh, the other artists that were that we had these beautiful conferences about, um, the fact that they were here, around us and embracing us with as artists, um, has been very very special for me. Um, I have a special thanks, of course, to Gregorio Luco Luque Luque. Um, because of the the f the wonderful way how he presents the conferences, and how he always engaged us in what he wanted to tell us, and uh, every day I looked forward to being there at eight o'clock, and uh, I came with an empty book, but it is more than half full because I didn't want to miss anything that he said, and um, I will definitely read this back over. Uh, read over when I'm at home. I will read over. Uh, read uh, back what he what he has told us. And um, I am very much fo looking forward to coming back in 2000. Uh, what will it be? 2010, when it uh, hopefully will be organized again. And um, I'm very thankful for uh, for the way how people uh, uh, presented the work. And how you could uh, you bring in your own contribution, yet at the same time people were very helpful to do things for you. So for me, it's been a very good experience, and uh, I would love to come back.